A complex number expression can be solved using the same properties that would be used with a normal expression. Even if the expression is more complex, the same properties will apply. Using properties can help you rearrange and group like terms when simplifying. The basic properties that are used for addition and multiplication include the commutative property of addition, the commutative property of multiplication, the associative property of addition, the associative property of multiplication, and the distributive property. Using these properties will allow you to simplify complex number expressions that use addition and multiplication. The commutative properties of addition and multiplication state that the order of the addends or the order of factors can be changed without altering the value of the expression. In short, the order will not affect the solution. This addition example has three terms that can be rearranged. The commutative property of addition allows us to change the order of the addends, which could be used to form the expression 3i minus i plus 2. 3i minus i is 2i, meaning that in the simplest form, this expression is 2i plus 2. Here's an example that uses the commutative property of multiplication. Remember that because of the order of operations, multiplication is performed first. This can be simplified into 3 times i, or 3i plus i times 2, or 2i. 3i plus 2i is 5i. The associative properties of addition and multiplication state that addends or factors can be added or multiplied in different groupings and will yield the same results. For example, the following expression indicates that the numbers in parentheses should be added first, resulting in 9i plus 7. However, the associative property allows for any of the addends to be added first. In the following expressions, you can change the parentheses to encompass different numbers. However, you get the same solution of 9i plus 7. The same is true of multiplication. Different groupings of the same factors will yield the same product. It does not matter what is multiplied first. For example, the following expression places 2 and 4i in parentheses to get a solution of 48i. If you change the numbers within the parentheses, you still get the same solution of 48i. It is very important that addends and factors are treated separately and that you keep the order of operations in mind. Employing the associative property or commutative property can be done when all the terms are either addends or factors. These properties will result in wrong answers if a problem consists of both addends and factors. The best way to proceed when this is the case is to follow the order of operations. The distributive property states that addends that are added and then multiplied by a factor are equivalent to the sum of the products from multiplying the factor by each addend individually. In other words, using this example, 3 plus 2 can be added first as the parentheses indicate, and the sum can be multiplied by 5 to get 25 or 5 can first be multiplied with 3 and then with 2, resulting in 15 plus 10, and the two resulting products can be added to 25. The answers are equivalent. This also applies to complex numbers. In this example, you can add first to get 5 plus i times 6 or 5 plus 6i. The distributive property allows you to also distribute the i. 5 plus i times 2 plus i times 4. This would simplify to 5 plus 6i. You may ask yourself why you should use the distributive property. Many problems such as this one are a bit more complicated and sometimes terms within parentheses are not like terms. This expression can be simplified, but there is nowhere to begin without distribution. First, you must distribute the 3 and the 2. Now that you have all add-ins, keeping in mind that negative 12 is the same as adding negative 12, you know that the order can be rearranged because of the commutative property of addition and that the grouping does not really matter because of the associative property of addition. If you change the order and groupings to put like terms together, it will make things easier. Add the like terms together to simplify the expression. 
Simplifying complex expressions uses the same properties as normal expression, even if the final solution is more than one term. In order to reach the proper solution, it is important to understand the commutative and associative properties of addition and multiplication, the distributive property, and to remember the order of operations.